everyone, thank you for watching. So today's video is going to be a holiday gift guide for, for a whole bunch, whole bunch of people. I have categories for, of course, I'm makeup and beauty, but I also have categories for like fitness, fashion, different men and women in your life, your pets, all kinds of things. So this is probably going to be a bit of a longer video, but a holiday gift guide was super highly requested as of lately, so I wanted to get up as quickly as I could. I didn't want to do anything last minute, and I know Black Friday and Cyber Monday is just around the corner, so I thought I could give you guys some ideas if you are looking for gifts to buy for your friends and your loved ones. So if you are ready to hop into my holiday 2017 gift guide, why don't we go ahead and jump into it. All right, like I said, I have friend back list to go through. So let's just dive in. I'm going to start off with the pet category and I'll try to run through each thing just as quickly as I can just touch on it briefly since I know I have so much to get through. Makeup and beauty is going to be last because I know that will be the longest and I'm just going to kind of see how long we've already been running to decide how many things I'm going to mention in that category. But to start off with pets, I am a dog owner myself. Um, and one thing that I absolutely love to get for Aries is the Bark Box. I will have everything that I can linked down below, but we've been getting Bark Box for Aries for probably at least close to a year. And it is so much fun. It's a monthly subscription, just like you would have like a makeup box, but it's for your pets. There are different boxes that you can get. We get one of the cheaper options, but honestly it is still, you get two toys in there two bags of treats and one like bigger treat, like a bully stick or something like that usually comes with it. And that is perfect for us. Like that is all that we need. She loves it and she knows when her bark box has arrived and she is so excited. She's always playing with her toys and we have not purchased a bag of treats since signing up for bark box. Cause like I said, you get two bags in there. So it's been fantastic. We love bark box. Another item, if you do have a dog and if you have a dog who particularly loves like being under blankets and stuff, I would recommend the snoozer I believe is the proper name for them we call them the cave if you guys follow me on snapchat you always see photos of Aries in her cave I can't actually hold it up because it's so huge but I'll try to insert a photo here so you can see what I'm talking about maybe I'll put it in a photo of Aries in her cave but it is freaking awesome I mean it's like what it says it's like a cave for a dog and Aries is someone who like that's what she loves she's always under the blankets and she loves her cave. She is in it all the time. We got ours off Amazon, so that's where I'll link it down below. Again, the price varies by the size that you get. Um, Aries is, she goes between 50 and 60 pounds. She is a Vishla, and I believe that we got the large for her, and she fits in there so well. I mean, honestly, another dog can fit in there, but she is pretty long, uh, and I think that she fits in there great. So we love it. She loves it. She's in there all the time. It was such a wonderful purchase. And one last thing that I want to recommend for pet owners, and this can be for dogs and for cats, my friend Nicole Renee Cutler started a business called Bailey's Mission, and she has a bunch of different like apparel on there that you can purchase. I was actually just wearing her shirt, one of the shirts in my Friday video. It was a tutorial, so you couldn't quite see the full shirt, but I'll insert a photo of it here. It says, I just want to like eat how goes, drink margaritas, and pet my dog, which is like basically my life. But she has items on there for dog and cat owners, so it can definitely be something to look into. And not only are you supporting a girl boss, you know, YouTube entrepreneur, also part of the proceeds, it does go back to supporting shelters, which I think is amazing. She does really cool work, so I will have Bailey's mission listed down below, and I definitely think you should check them out. I'm going to move over to some men in your life. This can be your spouse, your boyfriend, your father, your brother, whatever it is. Uh, one thing that I love to get my husband, like really no matter Matter what occasion it is is socks and I'm talking like the nice kind of I think it's is it called Argyle socks I get his from Express and then in all different colors and honestly our group of friends we have a lot of corporate workers especially among the men in our group of friends but they all love these socks so much that I don't even it started I think before our wedding that the guys would get their groomsmen gifts socks and then they would all have matching socks in the wedding and their tuxes we did it Everyone else has done it and all the guys just freaking love them. I mean, they have all different color socks. So does Mitch. And whenever a pair is ruined, like he has a hole in it, I like mark down what color it is because I'm like, yep, okay, I'll replace those socks for you. They love socks. It's the craziest thing. So if you have someone who works corporate or maybe goes to a lot of events or maybe you know you have like a lot of weddings coming up or something where your guy's going to have to be dressing up, get them some socks. I get them from Express. A lot of times there's like, you know, a 30% discount here or a buy one, get one half off there. That's when I stock up on the socks and... 
he really enjoys them. Mitch is also someone who really enjoys watches. Um, he didn't always, but then within the past, like probably three years or so, like all of a sudden he's been on this watch kick. And I also have this watch, so this could be for a female in your life as well. This one is a woman's watch, but this is a watch from Yord. This is what my watch looks like, and you've probably seen me wearing it in several of my videos. I think it's really cool because it's a wooden watch, and my husband also does woodworking on the side. He loves to woodwork. I don't know. I was going to say something that would sound real dirty, but he does a lot of woodworking and he makes a lot of really cool things for us and for other people too. So when I saw these wood watches, I just immediately thought of him and I thought it would be so perfect for them. The Yord watches are now on Amazon. So I will have them linked there below, but I love this watch. Whenever I wear it, I get so many compliments, but especially from men. Men compliment this watch more than the women do, which I think is so funny, but I think it's something to do with like the wood factor. So I don't know if this screams like your guy, of course, this is a woman's watch, but if this screams your guy, I would check them out. Or if you're looking, you know, for a female in your life too, they do have women's watches as well, or you could mix and match them either way that you like it. So I did want to mention this watch because it is one of my faves. I want to move on to my mom category, mother-in-law category, sister category. Again, you a lot of these gifts can be for a lot of different people in your life. I just wanted to give out some fun ideas as we enter the holiday time. But for mothers, I want to mention perfume. I always think perfume is a really good gift, especially for moms or mother-in-laws or even like some of your friends in your life if they're big perfume lovers. The thing that I would recommend is Sephora has the perfume sampler set. I mean, I'm going to mention the Sephora favorites down the road here a little bit, but they also have the the perfume sampler set. If, so if maybe you want to give someone perfume, but you don't know which one or what scent they would like, you could give them the sampler set. So that could be a really cool gift option um, so they could try out a bunch of different ones and maybe find their favorite. Favorites, or I have two here that I could recommend. This one is from Kenzo. It's just called the Uzi Lumiere, I think is what it's called. I, it is available at Sephora. I believe it's available at like Macy's as well. This is one of my all time favorite scents and sometimes I just spray it in my office like even if I'm not going anywhere. I just spray it because it just makes me happy. Like, <laughs> I just feel like it like boosts my office up. I really enjoy it. I like really light scents and this one is very light and very floral at the same time. Um, so that's a scent that I gravitate towards. And then the other one that I've really been loving, I think I actually mentioned this in a favorites video uh, a couple months ago, but this is from Define Me and the scent is in Delphine. You can get these on Ulta. So I will have it linked down below. It reminds me a little bit of the Kenzo, but with a hint of something different. I mean, I can't describe perfume to save my life, but Define Me has a bunch of different scents on there as well, and they're a really cool company. I would just suggest checking them out, but those are two perfume ideas if you know if you have perfume lovers in your life. Another option that I wanted to mention is perhaps a cleaning service. This is something that I have actually wanted to do for myself for such a long time, but I always feel really guilty because I do work from home. So I'm like, how can I not balance working from home with keeping my house clean, especially when it's just me, my husband, and a dog? We don't even have any children. Like, I need to get it together, but I've always been interested in a cleaning service. So maybe if your mom is someone who does work full time or you know someone who's just always really busy, maybe they work multiple jobs or they have a lot of kids and you know like housework is just stressful regardless I'll look into a cleaning service I've actually been doing it myself lately and they have so many different options out there and different packages out there and it can really not break the bank if you can try to figure out you know maybe it's only one area or two areas of the house that really need the attention and they can handle everything else I just think that's pretty cool so maybe it's an option for someone in your life um, to do something a little bit nice for them to kind of take some of the stress or pressure off or when they come home from their job and they're so stressed and then they have all all this cleaning that they have to do as well maybe check out a cleaning service the last thing that I want to recommend for moms is skincare I actually am going to have a full skincare section um, so I will have some skincare options over there but I think skincare is always really good for moms as well I know when my mom was here visiting me we are a military family so I'm in Iowa my mom my sister and her whole family are in Alabama but my mom was here a few months back visiting me and I know she took a whole bunch of skincare home with her she was like yep this one and this one and this one I was like you take it mom you got it so it's Skincare is always a really great option, so stay tuned. I'll have some specific skincare products to recommend coming up.
So moving on to some fashion lovers in your life, I recently discovered Windsor or Windsor Store. I will have their website linked down below. I did a clothing haul pretty recently with quite a few of their items and I've loved everything that I've gotten. I've already got a bunch more in my cart for the next time I make a clothing purchase. Uh, really cute, really trendy stuff and I thought the prices weren't too bad at all so I would check out Windsor. If you know someone who loves Sunnies, I would recommend Key Australia. These are, I believe these are called the Midnight Runners sunglasses and they are ginormous but they make me feel like a boss okay that's how they make me feel they have a small head so it's hard for me to pull off sunglasses a lot of different styles in there they are a little bit more pricey but they do um, send out newsletters with like 10% off I've even seen 20% off in their newsletters and such so I would recommend signing up for the newsletters if you have anyone that you think would enjoy some sunnies and then also I would recommend this is going to kind of push us over into the next one too but if you have someone who's also a fitness lover in your life, I would check out getting them clothing. I mean, of course, you can always ask for their suggestions, but I'm someone who I kind of let my clothes motivate me. Like when I have the cute workout clothes, I just feel more motivated to work out. Even though I only work out in my home, I don't actually go to a gym and nobody else sees me, but I still feel better when I'm wearing a cute workout clothes. So that can always be an option for me. I personally have been wanting to try the brand Gymshark. I've been kind of eyeing them lately. Has anybody tried Gymshark? Because they are what I'm feeling. So I feel like asking for some of their pieces for Christmas as well. It's kind of a bit of a sneak peek of my Christmas list, but um, definitely workout clothing can be good. But then switching over to a fitness, if you have someone who's wanting to get more into fitness, you could always think about something like a gym membership or, you know, signing them up for a certain amount of classes. I know we have a lot of like, uh, we have a yoga studio right by us and they offer, you know, certain packages and you can buy packages for someone else in your life. Um, or I use the workout site Grokker. It is a membership based website, but then once you have your membership, which I think it's like $20 a month, I'm pretty sure you get just a ton. I mean, a ton of different videos, all these different types of workouts. It's what I do every single day. If you follow me on Snapchat, I always share what my workout of the day is and it's always coming from Grokker. Um, they have yoga in there. They have cardio kickboxing. They have recipes on there. Uh, I mean, they just have basically everything that you would want for working out and all different levels as well. They also do a lot of different challenges. I basically join every single challenge because I just think it's a fun way to challenge myself, find new workouts. There's so many trainers in there that I love um, and you can do a free trial if you'd want to see it and make sure it works for you. But if you're someone like me who I don't like going to the gym, I don't feel like I have time to drive to a gym. Um, I just want to do it from home then that could be a good option. Um, and then also just getting them equipment such as like a yoga mat. I've been gifted a yoga mat for Christmas, which is so helpful to me. I've also been gifted dumbbells, whatever anybody needs for their home gym. I have like resistance bands. I have two different pairs of them. I have a jump rope. I have a, what's the big ball called? The kettlebell. I have that and a lot of those for gifts over time. So I've just kind of been like slowly piecing my home gym together. So I really have no reason to ever have to leave or go anywhere else for my workout. I can do it all from home so those can be some really good gift ideas too I'm gonna move on to a few more like lifestyle type of pieces, if you will. This is just um, kind of a bunch of different things thrown together. But if you know anybody in your life who is a book lover, you could get them something like a Kindle if they like to read eBooks. Um, a Kindle is a great option, and eBooks are a lot cheaper than physically buying the print books. Which, as a published author, that always makes me really sad to say, as we see print books like slowly and slowly becoming less and less. But eBooks are a really good option too. Then, like I just said, I am a published author. So if you're looking for any books to gift, of course, I have to give myself a shameless self-promotion plug. Hello. My books, A Questionable Friendship, was a bestseller on Amazon about two years ago, I think it was. I got the nice little bestseller tag next to it, which was really exciting. Up to I do, this is a book about a wedding, of course, and this is actually me and my husband's personal wedding photo on the front, which was a lot of fun. It has nothing to do with our wedding, but our wedding photo is on the front. And this one is my most recent novel. It is called Defining Her. All of my books, print books, and ebooks can be found on Amazon, so those will be linked down below. I also do have a book blog. It is called chickletplus.com. I'll have that link down below. I do a ton of book reviews over there, so if you are looking for something specific, I have a bunch of different categories over there. I have my favorite books over there that I've given five star reviews to, so you can check that out if you are looking for some more book recommendations. Another idea for book lovers is Audible. So Audible is audiobooks. So if you have someone who often like commutes, um, whether it's like a subway, a train, or they just 
just have a long car ride to work. Audible has a ton of different options, every single genre on there for books. I believe they have podcasts as well. I always listen to an audiobook, especially during the summer uh, with warmer weathers when Aries and I go for walks. I always just listen to an audiobook while we're out walking or if I'm cleaning, I always have an audiobook on. I love Audible. It's a service that I've been using for probably two years or so, and I just think it's a great idea. I always love the idea of gifting memories too versus just materialistic things um, which of course those are great as well but I love ideas such as buying like concert tickets me and my husband go to concerts all the time games if you live somewhere where like a professional sporting event is happening or you can you know drive somewhere I mean I would check things like Groupon um, they always have good deals out there and then also they have the Groupon experience experiences or group on travel or something like that um, for more of these like memory making ideas. I wanted to add in a little YouTuber category here as well. I feel like oh, maybe a lot of people who watch this video could be a YouTuber or an aspiring YouTuber um, for whatever different category it is that you are in, but there's a lot of good gifts that you could give someone or you could ask for. Um, you know, some of these gift ideas as well are ideas that you could put on your list because I really struggle sometimes coming up with an ideas to give like my mom or my husband or whoever it may be to give gift ideas to me. So here are some that I would recommend for a YouTuber. I mean, definitely the first one is a camera. I have the Sony A5100. I will leave it linked down below. The camera is definitely one of the best things ever. I mean, you can film off your phone and that's definitely how I started, but I feel like things really, you know, upgrade it when, once I got my professional camera. Also lighting. I first started uh, with lighting. I got two soft boxes off of Amazon. I think it was like $70 for two soft boxes and those really made a huge difference, especially in the winter time last year um, when it would get so dark so fast. I would have the soft boxes to help kind of light up my room. I then also moved on to the Diva Ring Light. So I'll have that link too. The Diva Ring Light has saved me. I basically only use that unless I'm filming like in the absolute pitch dark. I'll put one of the soft boxes behind me, but otherwise the Diva Ring Light is amazing. Anything like a mirror, even if it's like a vanity mirror, a light up vanity mirror, those can be super helpful. For me, I actually asked for Christmas from my mom for a full length mirror. I would really love to start doing more like outfits of the day and stuff on Instagram, but it is so hard to take the photos myself. So that's something that I asked for for Christmas that I think would be really helpful. So we're gonna move over to skincare and then finish off with makeup and beauty products. What I want to do for this video is recommend definitely a lot of sets, holiday sets, holiday kits, that sort of thing, because otherwise if I kind of didn't put a cap on it, we could be here forever and we're already gonna be here forever. So this set here is from Ula Hendrickson. This is called their three glowing scrubs, but this brand definitely has a ton of different sets out right now to kind of for whatever it is that you would want for someone or if you'd wanna suggest for yourself. I already dipped into it. Um, the middle one here, which is called the Poor Balance Facial Sauna Scrub is currently in my shower and I've already started using it. So that could be a good idea. Um, another one, again, this is from the Sephora Favorites line. They have so many different options in there. I've already mentioned perfect Perfume, but they have the beauty sleep so they have a bunch of different really cool items in here glam glow Kate Somerville uh, origins Ula Hendrickson is in here as well so that's awesome this set got my attention this is from belief they have their eye balm in here which is amazing the Hungarian water essence which I love and then also the moisturizing balm so that's another really good skincare set I just got this set sent to me but I thought it was super cute so I thought I'd mention it I use a ton of dermalogica products and I'm recommending them quite a bit so this is the age smart anti-aging power trio it says it's $58 and an 88.50 value you get three different products in here the daily superfoliant the recovery mask and the skin recovery I think that is like the moisturizer and then also like how how cute is this little ornament with some skincare in it this has their phyto replenish oil in there um Dermalogica is another one that they have a lot of different sets available so I will have some Dermalogica links below also number seven is one of my favorite skincare brands these ones are a little bit more affordable and you can find this skincare at Ulta. They have a bunch of different sets out as well, so they will also be listed down below. Cosmetics is another brand that I would check out for skincare sets. I love Tarte Makeup, but I also really enjoy their skincare, and I've noticed they have a bunch of different kits out right now so I will have some tart listed down below if you know someone like me who loves sheet masks I have two different brands that I would recommend um, this one is a patchology I use patchology a ton and I really enjoy them and then the other brand that I really love is BioBell. I have so many of both the patchology and the BioBell sheet masks but I just really enjoy them so if you know someone who loves sheet masks I would recommend both of those brands okay, so let's hop over to some makeup suggestions all right let's get into it 
So of course, I like I've been mentioning throughout the Sephora favorites, definitely check out the Sephora favorite sets. I mean, not only do they have the perfume and the skincare, they have hair care in there. They have um, all about like highlighting skin in there. They have an amazing looking lip set in there, mascara. They have a ton of different options and they are really good value either as a gift or for stocking stuffers. I would also check out brush sets. I really recommend Sigma Beauty. I have so many of their makeup brushes and I use them all of the time. Sigma has some amazing sets out right now, not only with their brushes, but their brush care cleaners. They also have makeup sets right now. So I will have um, some Sigma links down below. Also recommend checking out Tarte. I mentioned them from skincare, but they are coming out with a ton, especially holiday related sets right now. And not only makeup sets and skincare sets, but they also have brush sets too, which I think is fantastic. If you know someone who loves glitter, I would recommend the Stila sets. I love the Stila glitters. There are sets of like three, five, I think even more of them, both at Sephora and Ulta. So if you know a glitter lover, I would check out the Stila. Also, I found a set on the Ulta website from Estee Lauder. It comes with their Heat Wave highlight, which is like such a well-known and loved highlight, and then also a lipstick for $45. I just was browsing the Ulta website getting gift ideas the other day, and that one popped out at me, and I was like, that's pretty cool. I also do want to say real quickly, this is kind of off topic, but the gift guide was actually supposed to be a collaboration with a friend of mine. We had to put our collab on hold because she's actually like out of town on a work trip um, and wouldn't be able to film. So we're going to do something else a little bit later, but my gift guide portion was going to be high end. So I've already been working on this for quite some time. So that's why most of my items are high end. I did go through and try to find some drugstore items put in there, but honestly, drugstore is getting so expensive anyway. It's kind of annoying me but if you're noticing a lot of high end in here it's because that is originally what this video was supposed to be so I do apologize for that but I just wanted to throw that in there so pure cosmetics recently launched a bunch of different sets in the pure quick pro collection they're all available now at pure cosmetics Ulta and Kohl's but I wanted to show off some of them so this is the first one here so this is the quick pro lips you get a three-piece nude collection it has the gloss and birthday suit a lipstick and stripped and then the liner in naked and then there is also a highlighter kit here that I thought was pretty cool and then actually a highlight palette which I'm so excited to dip into. I just very recently got this one and haven't even had time to like play with it or open it or anything but they came out with a lot of different sets again available at Pure, Ulta, and Kohl's. Um, even skincare, more lip products, eye products, things like that so I will have some links to Pure down below but these can make really good holiday gifts or even stocking stuffers. A few items that I found on the drugstore side of the Ulta website that I thought were pretty cool, especially because I feel like these are brands that I don't always hear a ton about, but one is from Catrice Cosmetics. They have a couple different holiday bundles. For example, they come with an eyeshadow palette. Um, one comes with the Rocketeur mascara, which I highly recommend. One of my favorite mascaras. Comes with a blush um, and then also a lipstick and a lip pencil. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then also Essence is another brand that I think is like a gem at the drugstore that I don't hear enough about. I saw that they have a Lash Princess Mascara Holiday Kit for $13. I'm highly considering that one because everyone always recommends to me the Lash Princess Mascara. They also have holiday sets on there too, so I will leave some of those linked down below because they have some sets with like, especially the highlights in there, the Essence Pure Nude Highlight I absolutely love. So I will have a couple links to Catrice and also Essence in the description box. So those are a couple sets and bundles and holiday kits, and then now I want to recommend a few eyeshadow palettes that I think would make someone really happy if you gifted these to them on the holiday time. So some eyeshadow palettes that I would recommend for makeup lovers in your life or to ask for yourself. One would be the Kat Von D Saint Sinner eyeshadow palette. I do have a review on this palette and I absolutely love it. I think it would make a great gift idea. Another one that came out for the holiday times is the Urban Decay Heavy Metal eyeshadow palette. This one would be great if you have a shimmer lover in your life. It is an all shimmer palette and I think it is super fun. Again, can make a really great gift idea. I know this one is pretty popular around the holiday time. It's the new release from Tarte. This is the Tarte Toasted Palette. It is actually what I have on my eyes today, and I did use it in a first impressions video that should already be up, should have been Friday's video. Also from Tarte, I would recommend the Clay Play Palette. This is such a nice little palette, especially to travel with. It has matte neutral shadows, and then also some face powders as well. And then also ColourPop is a really great affordable option. I've really been into the new ColourPop pressed eyeshadows, different from their Super Shock shadows that they originally released. These pressed eyeshadows are so good. Um, I definitely want to get more of their eyeshadow palettes because I've been really impressed with those and ColourPop is really affordable. Moving on to some face palettes 
that I would recommend. I have the Tarte Big Blush Book 3, and I seriously keep dipping into it. I think it's pretty incredible. It has some great blushes in here and also a highlight. Tarte also does have other blush uh, palettes available. I think this one was only available on the Tarte website, but they have other blush books, and then I know they have a blush quad available as well at like Sephora and Ulta. Highly recommend the Tarte blushes. I think they are fantastic. I'd also recommend the Becca Apreski Glow Face Palette. I have been loving on this palette so much. You get six really nice shades in here, blush, bronzer, and highlight options. One of my favorites. I cannot stop wearing it. I would also recommend the Urban Decay Highlights. They did just release a new highlight palette. They have a previous highlight palette as well, which are $34 compared to their single highlights, which are $26. Highly recommend checking into those. I have them in my cart right now at Ulta myself. I do also have the Kevin Aquan uh, Contour Book to recommend. I have recommended this many times over. It's one of my favorites. Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder is so fabulous. You get that in this book. You get cream options and also eyeshadow options and a mirror, so it's really good to travel with too. A highlight palette that I love so much, highly would recommend, it's released a while ago, but I still love it, is the Smashbox and Casey Holmes uh, Spotlight Palette. I have mine in pearl. There is a second option as well. Uh, such a good highlight palette. This comes everywhere with me. And then an affordable option that I really, really enjoy is from Flower Beauty. This is what the face palette looks like. It is called the Lift and Sculpt Contouring Palette in medium to deep. So you have a bronzer shade and then also a blush and a highlight. All three options in here are absolutely awesome. I would highly recommend this one as well. And to finish off with some lip products that I would recommend, I love the Huda Beauty lipsticks. I'm wearing one from her Nude Love Collection today. You get four minis on the Sephora site for $33, which I do not think is bad at all. There's a nude set. There's also red and pinks and browns. So if you have a lipstick lover in your life, I feel like mini lipstick sets are just the way to go. I would also recommend Dose of Colors. I actually have a Dose of Colors kit in my cart right now. They just released a nude liquid lipstick set and then also a red liquid lipstick set. And and I have the nude one in my cart right now at Ulta. I'm really excited about that. I would also recommend the NYX Liquid Suede. They have a set on Ulta that I found that I will have listed down below. I love the NYX Liquid Suede lipsticks and they have some really fun colors and then also more of your neutral everyday colors in there too. But I really enjoyed that formula. I would also recommend the Urban Decay lipsticks and I know they have a little vices set right now with um, some mini lipsticks in there for a good price. So I will have that one listed down there. And then I also noticed that Ofra has quite a few sets on the Ulta website as well of their different liquid lipsticks and that's one of my favorite formulas of the year. I've been wearing the Ofra lipsticks so much and I now own like seven or eight of the lipsticks. One last thing I wanted to mention, I noticed on the Ulta website that MAC has on there what's called MAC Minis. I know that they have a mini strobe cream which made it into my Ulta card as well. They have a mini MAC Fix Plus and they have lipsticks on there too. So they're just mini sizes for a bit of a more affordable option. So if you have someone who really likes MAC or maybe someone who wants to get into MAC, you can get them the smaller option as well or they could make good stocking stuffers but after that that is going to do it for my holiday 2017 gift guide crushed it okay, so that is going to do it for my holiday 2017 gift guide video i really hope that you guys have found parts of this video helpful as always everything will be listed and linked any links that i can find will be listed down below so make sure to check the description box i had so much fun putting this together i've been working on it for quite some time so i hope that you found some helpful ideas let me know your feedback down below or if you have any gift ideas too for anybody in your life leave those in the comments for me and for also others reading the comment section but if you guys did enjoy this video i hope that you'll give it a thumbs up. I hope that you will also consider subscribing before you go and I will catch you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.